What's going on everybody, Big C9020 here, and today I am doing a video which I've been asked a lot to do, which is the permission settings for Alex Mappen. Um because Alex has updated his uh, server map browser fucking thingy, and it now supports Steam login. So, in order for me to explain this to you, you should have already have watched my video on how the serveradmin.xml file works because that information is pulled into Alex's uh, map to work out who has permission to view what. Okay, so if you haven't seen this video, go watch that video now. Um, otherwise, this isn't going to make much sense to you when I make reference to this video. Okay, on the assumption that you've watched this video or you know how the server admin.xml file works, um, you will be quite familiar with the web mod, which looks like this. Okay, now, by default, you will have a message saying some shit along the lines of, uh, oh, you haven't logged in, you have to sign in through Steam and then you will be able to see the map. And sure enough, when you sign in through Steam, you will be able to see the map. Um, but, as an example, um, what if you want to show your map to everybody? What if you want, what if you don't want people to have to sign in, um, in order to see it? So, yeah, so as you can see, I'm currently not logged in. Oops, I'm currently not logged in, and I can see the map. So, it allows me to embed my map into my awesome server page with blog. He has a plug, come and check it out. Um, so if you scroll down, you can see here it is again. I'm not signed in and anybody on the World Wide Web can see the server map without having to log in. They can also click on various things. Ooh, look at that. I'll show you how to do that on a different tutorial. Um, and they can zoom in and out. And if you notice, they can only see the basic stuff. They can't see things like where people are and stuff like that. Um, so heading back over here, if I do click sign in through Steam, and I sign in, it'll take me back to the map, and I can see stuff like uh, players who are offline, um, players who are online, all that extra stuff, but by default, people would not see that. Just signed out there, people can only see this. So, how do you do it? Well, um, let's just go back and explain how this works. Now, it's kind of like an all or nothing affair in the sense of once I've signed in, there is no way at the minute to just kind of like let your admins see all of this and then your super admins only see them and then your mods only see this. So we've got, in the server admin, we've got zero, which is the highest permission level. One, which is, say, the next one down, which you could have as admin. Two is moderator. And you can make as many ACL. That's what each one of these is. It's like an, an access control list. Um, you can have as many of them as you want. 1,000 is what the fun pimps use as a regular player. So anybody who is not being mentioned in the server admin.xml file has got a permission level of 1,000. Now, uh, by default... Alex's map is set to 1000, which is the reason why normally when you're not logged in, you would get the message across here. And then when people sign in, it'll go, hold on a second. Yeah, you are signed in with Steam. So, so regular players or signed in with Steam. Obviously, this... This part here just refers to the map. So, what Alec has done is Alec has made another one, another permission level called 2000, which are non players. So, because anybody in the world can go onto my website, check it out, and see this map without being signed into Steam, it's because we have set the map view permission to be 2000 so uh in order to do that 
what we do is we fire up seven days. We go to Big Scene Hannah 2 Hunter's official PvP server. All well, welcome. We connect. Note, in order to do this on your server, you must be set as permission level zero. You must be the super admin um, on your server in your own server admin.xml. So, when you get on the server, you open up the console, and I can't even remember what the command is. <sighs> right, give me one second. Give me one second, and I'll just quickly grab it off the internet. Because uh, mm, I closed down the web page. Right. So you would set it as the fuck is it? My eyesight is terrible, forgive me about this. One second. Ah there we go. So you would open seven days a die. And you would open up the console like this, and you would say web permission um, add. So we're adding a new permission, and then you've got web dot map, and here is where you would set the number. So as an example, if I set it to zero, then only super admins could see it. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look over here. If I set it to one then it means only admins and only super admins could see it. If I set it to two, then it means uh, it would mean moderate as admins and super admins can see it. If I set it to 1000, it means normal players who've signed in through Steam on the website and moderate as admins and super admins can see it. If I type in 2000, there we go. Web uh, web map added with permission level of 2000. It means even non-players can see it. And that's what I've done so that anybody can see it on the website without having to sign in. Okay, there is one other command. Um, where is it? Which I can't remember what it is. But by default, it's basically, you know how I signed in through here? So when you sign in through Steam, actually I'll just do it on this one because it's quicker. Sign in through Steam, sign in. And then I've got my extra buttons. It is, it's just the same kind of thing. It's web permission, add, and then it's actually on Alex's website. But whoever has a permission level of zero will automatically see the extra bits anyway so all of your super admins when they sign in will as long as they're set as zero in server admin.xml will see this extra stuff okay so i hope you understand that now um alec does change this occasionally so if this video seems to be out of date go to his website read read it He's, he, he puts it on his website i can't make it any easier than that um but yeah that's how it works I will show you in a short video how to add things like points of interest to the map, how to hi highlight certain areas, like putting squares over certain areas to say, like, um, we're going to reset this area. This area is where, I don't know, the haunted mansion is, or some bollocks like that. Anyway, I'm Big Stan Understood 1-0, and I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell your mom, and I shall see you guys next time.